All right. Out on another one. Solo one tonight. Lights on. Back to a spot I've done before. Quite nice when you do a solo. You go to somewhere familiar. Hopefully sleep a bit better. Oh, it's a bit, oh yeah, a bit bumpy. Forecast says down to four tonight. It's starting to get a bit chilly overnight. So I'm um, going to get a fire on. Try and keep nice and toasty. Okay, I've got to where I'm going to camp. Been to this spot before. Um, it's a little bit different because a few trees are falling down. So I've just been checking out to make sure nothing's going to fall. And um, I'm going to get set up. So I'll show you what I'm doing with my tarp and for cooking tonight. Do it the Jamie does while bike packing way. Right, I'll let that burn. I'm gonna keep adding to that while I put the tarp up. <laughs> ridge line from that tree to this one. I've had to put a fair bit of tension in here because it's a fair expanse and um, it's looped through the front of the tarp. And I'm not gonna use these Prisic knots, but they're always on the line, ready for when I wanna set up various different tarp configurations. But today, I think I'm gonna go for a plow point. So I'm gonna pull the back of that out and try and not catch it on the fire. <laughs> gear there ready to put in um, so this is a ammo box and I've turned it into a stove I'm going to link to one of my older videos at the end for the um, when I first used it that shows it a bit more and that's the pipe to go on the top I'll do the put the lid on in a minute but I'm going to put a bit more wood in looks like it's getting some heat in there nicely so it's a bit baggy at the minute, but I'm going to sort it out. So that's where I'll be tonight. Nice and roomy. Obviously, when it gets dark, it'll be more visible, but um, I think we'll be all right. As long as the tarp don't catch, I think I'll be okay. I don't fall down that hole. tonight so I've got this lofting up which basically means it's been compressed and now all the feathers I think are in there they're all gonna fill up and that'll increase the insulation and I've got that on a climate pad and it's gonna go in this bivy bag because I'm um, apart from 
tarp. I'm pretty much open to the elements tonight. Final thing to go in is a Trekology pillow. Clips round the mat so that doesn't move in the night, which is handy so you don't get the old bar of soap effect. I'm sure there'll be a few comments about that. Right, this goes in here. I think that is ready for when I want to bed down for the night. Right, let's get on with some cooking. Oh, what was that noise? I think someone said I'll watch. So, today we have a brew dog, Tony's Hopaloni. White chocolate and raspberry marshmallow IPA. Very nice. And an old faithful ghost ship from Adnams. And another brew dog, Tony's Hopaloni. Bit smoky because the um, flames have died down a bit. But I've now put a bit of silver birch on here that I brought from home. So when that gets going, We'll do the lid up, put the pipe on, and um, see how she goes. Hopefully that'll be pumping out a bit of heat to cook tea tonight. Okay, I'm gonna do a walkabout now because I don't think I wanna do one that's really dark in case I can't find my way back solo. Bit of an issue that somebody's lost their dog and they're walking through the woods trying to find it I think. Or my smoke about that doesn't look very good does it? I'm waiting until they piss off so I can have my tea. slow burn in there. It's quite a lot of charcoal and I think that'll be good to cook on in a minute. I've got a regulator on the front. I can open or close but it seems to be working well with the door open. I'm just waiting for the bloody dog people to go. I think that looks nice and hot on there. And I haven't heard anything for a little while. So, oh, me again. Um, I'm gonna go for it. I'm testing a different cooking method. I've lifted the lid and I'm cooking straight over the fire. It seems to be a lot more successful. So, it does conserve the heat nicely with the lid on, but this way, you can have cooked the burgers better. Just melting the cheese on the top. And then, I think it's nearly ready to go. I'll do the lid up. It's supposed to get down to four tonight. I think it's about eight at the minute. I haven't put the coat and my hat on because I'm so warm sitting next to the stove. I'm 
soon going to be doing the lid up on this and then it'll have a nice slow burn I'm sitting in the front of this uh, plow point should keep you nice and warm through the rest of the night and I found a dead tree it's got some nice dry branches on it so I've sat that there next to the ammo stove and with a bit of luck that might even dry them out a little bit more but they seem to be burning nicely so I'm going to build this up and then do the lid up I think and put the chimney back on Let the fire burn down now. Temperature's really dropping. Sitting out with no tent. It's feeling a bit fresh. I don't want to go to bed too too cold. So I'm just sitting here near the fire, gonna warm up and then I'm gonna turn in. Okay, so I'm in my sleeping bag under the tarp and my sleeping bag is in a bivy bag. So hopefully that will give me a bit extra warmth. I've kept my coat on for now because it is very cold. So that's about it tonight. I'll see you in the morning for breakfast and I will go morning. dark <laughs> need to check the ammo stove is nice and cold and the ashes are cold I'll um, make a hole and bury all that but it looks like it's burnt through nicely and I'll get packed away and have my breakfast just gone six so uh, looks like I'm having breakfast in the dark today got a Trangia Trangia stove burning methanol um, I can find my pan All packed up <clears throat> I'll show you around camp there's nothing to see there's nothing to see I was camped there I cooked there it's very dark there's not much to see at all really Sun should be coming up over there at some point I'll hopefully see that riding back um, bike if you can see it it's packed and I think we're gonna rock out. <sighs> A bit 
fresh. Almost looks like I've had a bit of a frost. I don't think it was forecast one. Everywhere it looks a bit white. Right, I'm gonna crack on. It's very bumpy along here. Certainly fresh. I'm glad I was under tree cover and not out in the open because well because I was. Um, right, I'm gonna do a twirly thing. My hands are cold, so there's a good chance my phone. Oh, went Jack. Good chance my phone could go off into the bushes. That'll have to do for this morning. My hands are cold. Gloves next trip. Right, thanks for watching, and um, I'm going to put one of my other videos at the end if you have a look, and I'll see you on the next one. Walking your dog in it.